Hey guys, it's Thomas. So, I saw oh, um, Devin over with the Make Anything channel. I saw he made some upgrades for his um, CL10. So I decided to put that. Great design over there. So, these are things to help you move the Z-axis manually. And like on the E3D Titan Aero Extruder Bowden system. Like, uh, where you can move it to extract film in to put it in. So I printed that too. Let's get to the time. Installing this one first that goes right here. So it's easy to install. You just line this up and pop it right on. Now you can move the filament in and out. So you can see it's actually pulling the filament. And they're actually pulling the filament out right now. This is a really handy upgrade. Be useful for me. And it'll print like this, so it's just knob will move while it's printing. Which I thought was kind of interesting. Let's get to installing the second upgrade, which is a manual Z-axis. So to install this one, the first thing you need to do is get a wrench and loosen these little nuts. So, you need to move the Z-axis rod just up so it be. Oh, this is tight. I'll get you back to you when I actually get it. So now we've got the two things loosened, we can move this up and down. So we're going to move this up, so it's, it's sticking out of the end about this much, and the Z rod's about here. So I get the first one tightened, sticking out just about the right amount. Let's tighten this. Now it'll stay in place. I need to tighten the second one right around here. Now this is the second one, I think. Okay, now let's put this thing and stone right at the top. It should be sticking out about this much. So to install this, you get the two parts. I think this is supposed to be a bearing, but my printer tolerances weren't good enough. So once it's sticking out like this, I gotta do is actually just turn this on. And you gotta hold the thing so it doesn't move and then you should be able to turn on. And it's actually manually doing the Z-axis. And this will actually show you a Z-axis movement like a teeny bit. No. Yeah loosen it up a little bit. It's actually working quite well. Now we need to put this on. This little knob. But funny thing is, the thing isn't actually, I need to get a pliers to it. So, I'll get back to you in this. So I just had to um, kind of sand it down tight. So now you can turn it and you can see the Z rod moving right there. So, I move the camera. Okay. So, I've got this when I turn it. The Z axis is actually, mo actually moving. See? I'll uh, move that. You guys can see that there. So, Get back to my face. 